Um, you're absolutely right. Um, I was frustrated by the first goal. I think it was a tough ball. Um, I think he made a good progress in the summer in this way to play. Uh, he's much more on the jump now. But uh, uh, the final decisions to take is not easy for a goalkeeper in this moment. And uh, I think uh, we have uh, a very, very hardworking goalkeeper coach. And I think uh, to, to switch and uh, yeah, a goalkeeper who's not used to, to play that high, it's not such, such an easy job, I think. But if you want to make the next step in our game, I think it was important to, to, to bring him in this, in this way to play football. With the ball, I must say, he made a big development. He, we, we try to, to use him always in our rondos and uh, in our game with the ball uh, as an important, important um, field player. Uh, yeah. we, we were last time discussing about the shape, how in football the tactics were changing on the last uh, decades. And we spoke about the libero that was uh, earlier there. And, and in the moment, I think that the, the goalkeeper is kind of a libero in the moment. And in every uh, modern football club, I think uh, you can see that they are playing higher and higher. And uh, this is the key, to be honest. Do you think it's almost a psychological thing with Alex in terms of trying to train himself to remember to come out and you know sweep the ball away and be comfortable at his feet? Everything is a training thing because when it's not automatically there, you have to work on this and uh, this is what we do every day and definitely also the goalkeeper. And just finally from me on the goalkeepers, you've obviously got three. They're all individually good at different things. Would it be fair to say that Angus would perhaps be the most natural with the ball at his feet? I mean, what's the latest on his situation? Uh, this, this is right because he went to all the uh, English academies and uh, there it's now uh, a deep a different development of the, of the goalkeepers anyway. Uh, they, are, they learn different things like uh, Fraser Foster, Alex McCarthy maybe. Um, I think uh, we have three goalkeepers with different qualities and uh, in the moment uh, I'm very happy with, with Alex. He, I think he made a good progress um, and uh, hopefully it goes on. Thank you, Ralph. Good luck for the weekend. Okay, we'll go to Tom Crocker at the Echo. Ralph. Yeah. Hi. Uh, just the one for me today. I mean, I was speaking to Oil Romeo this week and he said he's been encouraged that there seems to be a real determination within the squad this week to put things right. Is that something you've sensed? What's the mood you've sensed this week? Does it feel like everyone's really keen to put things right from last weekend? Yeah, I think meanwhile, um, the players know me that I, when I, when I see a game like this on the weekend, um, I don't uh, try to be emotional and, 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 and blame them for something because we all did not the best job, I think, and we must adapt a few things. And this is the way we work since I'm here now. And, and uh, to show the reaction on this weekend, I think, is the, the, the way we want to go. And or is uh, also on the weekend uh, was not on his best level, like a few other players also. And I'm sure we can play much better. And this is the goal. And uh, that, therefore, we were working. and. I think that the guys are meanwhile very, very self-critical. They were a little bit frustrated after the game uh, because it was a very clear result and it didn't feel that clear in the beginning. Uh, nobody thought that we would lose against uh, Tottenham 5-1, but you see how quick it goes when you're not uh, sticking to what we don't normally want to do. And then it looks like a result that is a little bit too high maybe, but was also deserved in this, in this because they had a lot of chances. Yeah, that's the that's the is the that's the, the the moment, and, and in this situation we must change a few things, and we try to do it, and I think uh, hopefully we can see it on the weekend. Just just quickly following on that, do you think that a task like Burnley is going to be a real physical battle? Might be the, the perfect thing. The, the guys know they're going to have to get there and fight for everything they're going to get the weekend. Yeah, every Premier League game is also a physical battle, so it doesn't matter who, who you play against. Uh, there's quality all around in, every, in any side. And uh, yeah, we also have quality. And uh, for me, it's important that we show what we can do. And I think we can play much better than we did. As I said, in the last game, the first 45 minutes, you could a little bit feel uh, what we can play and uh, for, 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 how, for what football we are standing for. And I think uh, this, is, this is the goal for the weekend. Perfect. Thank you, Ralph. Best luck for the weekend. Thanks a lot. OK, we'll go to John West. Hi, Ralph. Hello. 
Um, can I ask you about the way you're saying about the transfers? What's very interesting. Um, is it fair to say that Southampton, being a medium-sized fish in a big pool, it's very, very, very difficult to get over the, the bigger fish for the, the number one targets. And you have, and you just there comes a point where you have to go. All right, number three, number four. But have you? Can you remember the last time you did get anyone number one target? Does it happen enough to make you happy? Uh, we'll never get the number one target. Or if, if, yeah, it, it's difficult to say number one target. What is the number one target? I mean, <laughs> I can tell you a few number one targets, but uh, this is not not serious. Yeah? So, in our um, shop, where we have to look, uh, this is we can we can we can when we select players, we are immediately looking if it's possible or not, uh, or if there any is any chance. If there's any chance, then it's very often only a short slot where we can get them. Because as soon as other clubs are coming on the table, that it's very difficult for us. We know this, but this is uh, yeah nothing new. Um, doesn't make it easier for us, but uh, yeah, not less interesting. Yeah? We find uh, we might have to find sometimes the, the jewelers nobody is looking at, and and if you do this, then you have a chance to to make the next step. And uh, anyway, um, I'm sure that. Uh, in the last two weeks from the transfer window now we will get a few chances of getting players we normally don't get and then maybe we have uh, we have waited uh, for the right moment and you say that they maybe take a bit more time to to help you get where you want to be does that mean you have to help them on, on the training ground and get your yes. ideas across i will speak about uh, different um, opportunities to get better the easiest and uh, yeah the most likely is to buy new players and good players and they help you immediately. This can help you to, to get the big step. And the other way is uh, to, to develop your game um, until you reach some limits. Uh, I don't think that we, we can, you can uh, play much better than in the end of last season where we won against Man City and other teams. So uh, to come back on this level is difficult because the other, the other teams are also getting better with transfers and everything. So. We have to do something, we know this, and then it's easier for us to make the next step. Would be a difficult season, everybody knows this. Um, we are not speaking about any position in the end of the season. We know that it's a long journey and uh, there are some moments where you play fantastic and there will come moments like now again where we are not so good and uh, this is not so surprising. Thank you. Thank okay, you. We'll go to Tom Leach at Hampshire Live. Hello, Ralph, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. Hello. Um, you've had a full week's training with the boys this week for, I think, the first time you've had a chance to do that really this season. Um, how have they responded to it? And have you been able to get things done this week that you would have normally done during pre-season? Hopefully, yes. Uh, we worked on a few things. Uh, yesterday was a very tense session. And uh, yes, it was good to have them here. It was good to have them around you and, and can work on a few things. And uh, yeah, this is definitely something we haven't had for uh, lots of weeks. But this shouldn't be always an, an, an alibi to 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 have to to have a, a argument for the for a not perfect performance. But uh, we must take the time now. We must take uh, the time to to work on a few things. And um, we have shown that we can play better, and uh, we have shown that we can be more stabilized uh, stabilized like like in the last game, especially in the second half. And there's no reason not to come back to this point. And uh, this is what we are aiming for. And uh, guys are coming back. Stewie is fit. I think he showed in the last game that he has a big impact in our game. This is good for us. We didn't have him. He was in the international break and came back injured. So we missed the first three two games in the cup and, and against uh, Palace. And uh, yeah, finally, we know that we have not so much alternatives uh, in the moment. And this is the reason why we are looking for alternatives still. And if I could just ask one about outgoings as well, is Sofian Buffal or maybe even Angus Gunn, who's been linked with a move this week, are they any closer to potentially leaving the club for the minute? Oh, again, uh, as long as it's nothing finished, I don't want to speak about that. It doesn't make it easier. So you can be sure that uh, there will be some some changes in the in the, in, in the next weeks. And uh, as soon as uh, there's something finalised, we will tell you. Brilliant. Thank you. And good luck on Saturday. Thanks a lot. Okay, we're going to talk about the sun. Hi, Ralph. Hello. 
I want to ask about uh, Che Adams. He obviously had um, a difficult season last year in terms of goal scoring, but he ended it really well. He hasn't scored so far this season. He had a couple, we were only a few games in, he had a couple of really good chances against Spurs and maybe should have taken them. Maybe there's a great save from Lloris, but I was wondering two things on him. One, how uh, confident are you in his own confidence, his own not being fragile, not, not thinking, oh no, it's going to be like this again, like it was last year when nothing would go in. Uh, and, you know, how confident are you that he won't have a repeat of that last year and he will be regular goal scorer? I'm very confident because I see how he's working every day and uh, how how much he invests for getting better and better. And yes, um, we cannot always speak about unluck uh, in, in, in such moments. Uh, yes, big save, Loris, big save against Palace. Uh, it's, it's really frustrating for him. He had a few chances, but also in some moments he took a little bit too long to, to finish it or didn't take the right decision and hopefully I, he scores as quick as possible because we know that sometimes strikers then get a little bit cramped and this is what we want don't want to have yeah in the end of the season he showed that he can score and i'm sure again he i would be more worrying if he doesn't come to any chances yeah and uh, i think as long as he comes to the chances he's, i see it in, in the sessions every day that he can score and we saw it last week last summer and so there's no reason to do not trust him. Uh, we have with Longy and Michael also two strikers. They are pushing hard to 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 play, and and they trained well this week. Uh, but uh, also Inzi and 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 Shea. Uh, in the in the front four, I think we have good alternatives, good guys. Uh, they can score. Or everybody can score. And hopefully, uh, it's not so interesting for me who scores. Uh, it's important that we score. And uh, I I wish everybody can get the chance and 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 can give something to the team. Well, that's the importance, isn't it? I mean, from a, a good side of things, from the weekend, Danny got his first goals of the season, but yet you look at it, three games, only Danny's the one who scored. He's obviously your talisman, the main guy for goals. So that's not so surprising, but I think you have spoken before about the need to share out goals. So going back to his former club, Danny, this weekend, you'll be hoping, obviously he's on a score sheet, but maybe a few of the other guys can contribute a bit more. Yeah, but I know that we have more guys to score than only Danny. I know that it's important for our game and um, uh, still uh, uh, also in this season our target man in front where we look uh, to, 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 to finalise. But uh, yeah, as I said, we have more players and I hope that uh, we can create chances also for others to score. Still we can score. Musa, I think he played a good game against Tottenham, especially in the first half and second half. I uh, didn't find a reverse key anymore, but uh, it's normal. He didn't play for a long time for this. I must say, it was a good game. He trained well this week. And uh, yeah, then also Prousey is able to score. And just just finally, um, since you've been at Southampton and, and long before you were here, the club has been quite inconsistent with form. But the back end of last season felt like there was the, the plan was coming together. The consistency was starting to to happen. You've mentioned reasons why maybe that's been difficult to carry on into this season, but is that just something that Southampton fans, players, anyone connected with the club has just come to accept that at that level, the clubs you're competing against, that a strive for consistency is just always going to be difficult and you're always going to see these fluctuating sort of periods of form? I mean, um... This was for sure an extraordinary time when we are seven games unbeaten, eh? and and um, this didn't happen since I'm here. And, but uh, we don't have to speak too much about that. We know that the Premier League is tough. We know how much money other clubs invest in the summer to get better. So it's not such a coincidence that they then push a little bit harder and and perform maybe better in the beginning of the season. We need a little longer to adapt to this level, and then hopefully are competitive again. So. Uh, it's 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 a nice dreaming if you if you think everybody goes so easy and uh, switch it on again in the next season and then win again. So it's it's not like this. Um, who thinks it is like this? And um, I think I think it's too easy to think of like that. And uh, we are more realistic. And um, in the end, uh, we know that it's in, in in our club always a battle for staying in the league and always a battle of getting as quick as possible with 40 points and then we can look for more like we did last uh, end of last season 
And the 11th uh, place in the table was fantastic for us, uh, the best since since three or four years, I think. And uh, I, I don't see any reason why we cannot get this again, uh, but uh, it's only with hard work and, and with, a, with a better way to play like we did so far.